Oh, I hope I didn't forget anything. I've got my camera gear. I've got my diesel heater, my propane fire, my propane bottle, my shelter, my table, my battery, my bed, my blankets, my fishing rod, and an absolutely beautiful day for a drive. Oh, look at that. Hey! I guess that's one of the nice things of camping in the winter on a weekday. Not a single person. I think we're gonna take spot number one because then I don't have to drive this extremely long one way around to get out and we'll set up camp. There we go, 13 bucks. I might regret this later, <laughs> but I needed a inlet for my for my diesel heater, and I don't know what else to do other than like roll down a window. But then I gotta put the diesel heater way up in the air. I mean, I feel like this van's got maybe a year left in her. On the way out here, couldn't get it into third gear. Had to pull over, put it in park, reset the whole th system. So. I feel like that's not the biggest deal. But anyways, I'm gonna stay nice and warm tonight. Cause it's gonna be like, uh, like zero tonight. So I think it was well worth it. I might regret it later, but I'm never gonna sell this van. Don't know if you guys have seen the inside, but uh, yeah. I'm afraid I am gonna have this van forever. Till the day she decides that she no, no longer wants to go on camping trips with me. Oh, I love this propane fire. Hey, I'm filming over here. What's going on up there? Start heating. We're gonna turn it on and just see what happens. That exhaust is no longer touching the ground because I blocked it up a little bit, so that should be fine. I'll do this. I just put the exhaust on and it does actually make a little bit of a difference so we'll we'll keep it on and it is running right now so let's go inside see how nice and toasty it is oh yeah nice and toasty which is where my feet are gonna be so that'll be nice well would you look at this little camping setup we're gonna cook some Smokies soon. Got the chair, got the propane fireplace. My friend gave me this thing. I don't really know what it is, but it lights on fire and I think that it's used for cooking when you're camping, like more like backpack camping. We've got the canopy over the van so that if it does rain tonight, big water droplets won't hit the top of the van and wake me up. However, I could kind of move it back a little bit, but it's not gonna rain tonight. We got the minivan looking great as always. The mattress, the bed made. Windows all barricaded in case a bear tries to get in tonight. <laughs> and my favorite part of the addition is the diesel heater. It's just ticking away. And uh, on the very low, low setting, got the battery there all charged up. Will last me a couple nights at least extra diesel and then when you come over here and you actually get in the van we got the laptop although I uh, forgot to download a movie so that'll kind of suck tonight but whatever and then you've got some nice warm air coming out of there warm my hands up a little bit it's already starting to get cold and then you've got some wine for uh, oh I think I'm gonna start cooking Smokies right now so I may as well pour myself a glass of wine got water and this little uh, this little night light out here. Somebody gave it to me the other day. Not a bad setup at all. This diesel heater is life changing. The, the diesel heater is and this propane fireplace is. 
Um, I love having a real fire, but it's extremely inconvenient. The firewood's expensive, it doesn't last very long, and then I get in my van smelling like smoke. Everything smells like smoke, gotta wash everything. It'll give me some nice warmth, and uh, I don't have to tend to it. It'll just be perfect the whole night. So what's the deal with these propane fireplaces? Can you, you can cook on them, like obviously, right? It just seems weird cooking on a fake fire. But I guess that's what a barbecue is right there. And the package comes with those. I got the uh, cheddar cheese ones. And this is ketchup and mustard mixed together in a Tabasco container. <laughs> Saves room. I think I understand why they don't mix ketchup and mustard together. It, it doesn't feel right. Ooh, it's starting to get cold. Um, but I've got the fire in front of me and I've got it super close. I've got all the doors closed except this one. I'm watching Rust Valley Restorers on my phone. And then behind me, I got this just above low speed. And so it's blowing heat on my back. So. When I lean forward, I can just feel the cold, but then it's like heat here and heat behind me. I love these two purchases that I made. I knew they'd be good, but it's cool to kind of see it in real life. Anyways, guys, I'm just gonna hang out by the fire, sip on some wine, just enjoy my night. Tomorrow is gonna be its own video. I am just about to go to bed. You can just hear that diesel heater clicking away. I've got a little camping fan in the background blowing hot air this way. I might actually have to turn it off throughout the night because it is so hot in here. Anyways guys, I'll see you tomorrow for some fishing. Keep living that dream. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.